Hello, my name is Ian Ritchie. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska, and I'm going to be interviewing Gary McIntyre. Uh, Gary, would you be willing to talk about yourself and where you're from? Yes, I'd be happy to, Ian. Uh, my name is Gary McIntyre. I live in Fort Collins, Colorado, and I happen to be Ian's maternal grandfather. Uh, we have lived in Fort Collins since 1975 and have seen a lot of changes that have occurred during that time period. Probably within the last 20 years, the population of the city has grown from roughly 100,000 to over 150,000. There is a, a significant change from a more rural agricultural area to an area that is very attractive to soft industry. Uh, we do have a university here, Colorado State University, which also tends to attract people that have a higher education and it leads to a lot of exciting, thrilling things that go on within the city. Uh, to give you an example, within the last 15 years or so, Fort Collins has become a destination for music, and there is a lot of support within the community, a lot of concerts that go on in the summer. There are a lot of concerts that are out in, in the uh, parks, and uh, people flock to see these things and have just an absolutely wonderful time. As you might guess, the demographics of the city have continued to change. It, uh, uh, the level of education has gotten higher and higher, and the, the median income has increased significantly also. Um, we tend to be a relatively young city from the standpoint that because you're attracting a lot of people in, you tend to attract people that tend to be younger rather than older because it's a retirement issue. And it's been uh, exciting. One of the drawbacks, of course, is that we have the bane of lots of traffic. And infrastructure always uh, is something that lags behind development. So we struggle with more cars, more people. We try to uh, circumvent that in part by the fact that we're trying to uh, provide a, an environment that is conducive for people to ride bicycles. And we have increased our uh, municipal transportation significantly so that people have an opportunity to ride to and from places. And as they've done that, it has expanded so that much more of the community is encompassed in, in where the uh, so-called transport uh, is able to, uh, to, to go and, and uh, have bus stops. Okay. What next? Um, is there anything that really stands out in your memories um, that is gone from when you first moved to the city? It's it's interesting. It's it's not so much that things have gone; is that things have been added in. Um, I guess what you would say is gone is a, a more relaxed, less frenetic kind of environment. And again, that's from the fact that this, the population has increased so much and the traffic is heavier and all these kind of things. But, uh, you know, this, this is a fairly young city. It was established in the 1870s and uh, probably was not more than 30,000 clear back in the mid-50s. So growth has been rapid uh, as that has happened and the city has expanded. Well, I guess the other thing you could say is that, that a lot of the farmland has been incorporated into the city and of course now is housing developments. So yeah, that's changed. How has no, these changes directly like impacted kind of how you run your life? Has it impacted the things that you do and... Uh, kind of your just day to day. Uh, a, a little bit. Another thing that's happened that is has been good is the city has grown. The city fathers have recognized the fact that there needs to be recreational areas that are are close to the city, and it's easy to bike down along the Poudre River. Uh, there are a lot of parks. Uh, lots of kinds of things that you can do from hiking to running to softball to bowling to basketball, uh, any of those kind of things. 
And this has been on the increase, and in part is probably because of population pressure and from the standpoint that the kind of people that are coming in here demand that kind of thing. So, yeah, you see that. At the same time that happens, as I said, this was a more rural agricultural area. The farmlands are going farther and farther out to the east and to the north and south of it because there's housing developments that have taken the land over. Ultimately, we will have water issues unless people can figure out how to uh, place more of the, the water that we have here in reservoirs so it'll be available later in the, in the year or in future years when we don't get as much rain or snowfall. So that, again, is, is kind of a big issue that it's hanging over our heads, but hasn't really happened at this stage. All right. Well, thank you so much. That was really cool. You are most welcome.